Good morning, Cape Aronis. It's Friday 8. Time for multiple morning announcements. The GSA will be meeting today during SSAP in the theater. Anyone interested in participating in unified track and field this spring season, please come to the cafeteria during homeroom for an interest meeting this Friday, Feb 8, which is also today. Please see Mr. Hayes or Ms. Slorp if you have any questions. Now, some information on the art club. Hello, I'm president of the art club and I want to tell you guys a little bit about what we're going to be doing and where the meetings are going to be held. The meetings are going to be held in Miss Aiken's room and room B110 and it's going to be during SSAP. Most of our meetings are going to be held after school on Thursday 3 to 5. I'll tell you more about the club at the meeting. But for a brief introduction, we do crafts, game sharing, we'll do some field trips and game days. Would you like a Japanese pen pal? Would you like to practice your Japanese writing? Then come to the library and see how easy it can be. Sign up soon because you may be able to meet your pen pal in person when the students from Sendai Nika School come to Cape in March. See Mrs. McCone for details. All girls that are interested in trying out for soccer, please attend an informational meeting on February 22nd in the gym. The meeting will take place during SSAP. Please bring your iPads. Interested in taking AP or honors courses? See your guidance counselor for more information. Senior superlative voting is up. Make your submission under the course named YB2. They must be in before February, February 15th. No exceptions after that date. My name is Dylan Baldwin. I'm going to leave y'all with some sports. Good morning, Cape. Today's a show you've all been waiting for. Indeed it is. We're talking about the Super Bowl. Well, in case you live under a rock, the Patriots won in an absolutely thrilling game against the Rams. A game nobody will really want to remember. I concur. Yeah, it's not surprising the Patriots bought out like the Flint Tropics. However, it could have been a very different game if the Rams had a first-team all-pro running back that was top three in rushing yards. Yeah, but uh, luckily they had a chubby guy there that did nothing. Agreed, and we'll see you next week.